This seven foot demigod center build gets a 96 offensive rebound, which means it gets Hall of Fame rebounding badges and has the ability to snag over every single center. Gets a 93 block rating, which gives you Hall of Fame defensive badges and the ability to hold down the paint like a defensive anchor that every team needs. Gets a 93 pass accuracy, which gets you Hall of Fame break starter and grants you the ability to throw full court quarterback passes to your teammates on the break, making you every single one of your friends favorite center to play with gets a maxed out midi and maxed out three point rating so despite all of these ridiculously high ratings you still have the ability to pop and spark it from deep and on top of all that gets a maxed out speed and maxed out agility so even though you are on a seven foot build with a seven seven wingspan you are still moving ridiculously quick this center build is a triple double machine my first five rec games with this build i averaged nearly 20 points 25 rebounds in 10 assists per game. Today we define the meta of NBA 2K25. What's up Simply Squad, it's your boy Demi God grinding, and I need y'all to drop a like right now. Cause if this video hits 1K likes, I will drop a super long video showing y'all my new six foot four two way point guard build. You know, the build that's gonna prove all of y'all wrong. You remember that little theory y'all had that you can't green three threes in a row with no breaks in the proving ground? Yeah, I debunked that theory multiple times with this new six foot four build. And I was greening so much that my first time ever playing 2v2 rank i went 40 and 4 and reached gold rank my first day out trust me y'all that build is insane so make sure you're subbed with notifications on so you don't miss out on them and even if you think you're subbed double check to make sure now today not only am i gonna give y'all my seven foot demigod build i'm also gonna give you the motion style the pass style the jump shot everything you need to know to dominate on day one including what you should put your badge elevator in max plus one on as well as what you should upgrade first when you first make the build which means we got a lot to cover so we're about to get right into it but first this video is sponsored by underdog if caleb williams throws for one yard this weekend you can win big and that's not all underdog is hosting an insane special right now where new depositors aka you the person who's never signed up for underdog before can get up to a thousand dollars in bonus cash yeah you heard that right all you gotta do is sign up for underdog by clicking the link in the description or just typing in code grinding when you deposit you can get up to a thousand thousand dollars in bonus cash and with that bonus cash you can take advantage of special picks like this where if caleb williams throws for one yard this weekend you can win big between that and special offers like these that underdog hosts every single week there is literally no reason to not sign up for underdog so again y'all click the link in the description and use code grinding when you deposit you can get up to a thousand dollars in bonus cash all right y'all now for the build you can go right or left handed it doesn't matter i like to go right your position position is going to be a center, your height is going to be 7 feet tall, your weight is going to be exactly 235 pounds, and your wingspan is going to be a massive 7 foot 7. And everything here is for a reason, we'll explain more as we go on. The first thing we're going to upgrade is our rebounding, arguably the most important thing for a center to have. Our offensive rebound is going to be a 96 overall rating, and we're going to leave our defensive rebound at an 81. The reason for this is because all you need is one rebounding rating to be high, to get all of these rebounding badges and at the same time offensive rebound is just more valuable on defense you usually have a good box out and nine times out of ten you're gonna have inside position so it's easier to get the rebound but for offensive rebounds you're gonna have to fight through one or two defenders to try and out snag them and get that board like y'all seen in the clips and we'll go over all the badges once we're finished with the build the next thing we're gonna upgrade is our block which is gonna be a massive 93 overall rating which once we're done with the build is gonna give us gold paint patroller hall of fame pogo stick and hall of fame high flying denier aka hall of fame chase down artist we're also going to increase our interior defense to an 82 overall rating you want at least gold paint patroller then to finish off defense we're going to max out our steel y'all know how overpowered passing lane steals are maxing out our steel with a seven foot seven wingspan on a seven foot build you're going to be able to cover nearly the entire court when you reach y'all think i'm exaggerating but i'm really not bro when you click x or square you're going to fly across the court and then to finish 
finish off our defense we're gonna go a 52 perimeter defense just so we can hedge a little bit and we can move around on defense so we're not just a standing cone just because we're a bigger build and speaking of not being a cone the next thing we're gonna upgrade is our physicals you are gonna max out your speed on this seven foot build as well as max out your agility and then you're gonna have a massive 85 strength for silver brick wall and an 83 vertical to give us all the badges i was talking about earlier high flying denier aka chase on artist on hall of fame pogo stick in hall of fame box out beast on gold and then with your strength you get brick wall on silver the reason we're not going 91 strength to get brick wall on gold is because if you do that your speed takes too much of a hit and trust me nothing feels worse than feeling slow on a center build i genuinely can't wait for y'all to use this build and just see how fast you feel on the court bro it is absolutely insane the next thing we're gonna upgrade is what's gonna make all of your teammates love you our pass accuracy is gonna be a massive 93 overall rating now of course that gives you hall of fame break starter and hall of fame dimer your teammates are not gonna miss you can even upgrade these to legend by the way i haven't even mentioned max plus ones or badge elevators yet we're gonna talk about that later once we upgrade the build but i will say this is the first part of the build that you can actually change if you want to i haven't tested it myself but i have heard that 87 pass accuracy or 89 to get versatile visionary is also good enough to make break starter passes pretty consistently if you have a 93 pass accuracy nine out of ten times you're throwing it from corner to corner full court doesn't matter and your teammates are going to catch it on a dime and get a free fast break three but i have heard that 89 might be enough for you to do the exact same thing just with a little bit less success rate if that's a risk you want to take by all means go for it you could put your other attributes in different places but for me i'm going 93 pass accuracy and i'm throwing straight dots the next thing we're going to upgrade is our shooting you're going to max out your three pointer which is a 76 three point rating and then to get the extra badges and the better jump shots in the game we're going to also max out our mid range to get an 82 midi now again there is something you can do here if you're not comfortable shooting with an 82 shot or if there's a specific jump shot you want that maybe is like an 85 overall rating all you would have to do is lower the wingspan a little bit but i want you to keep in mind that if you do lower the wingspan a little bit do not be mad at me if you're not getting the same boards that i'm getting how tall your player is and how long your player is pause wingspan is a major impact on if you get the board or not all those clips you saw me snagging over people i only had silver badges with legend rebound chaser because i used my badge elevator and my max plus one again we'll talk about that later but i had silver box out beast i had silver pogo stick i had every other badge on silver and i was still snagging like that so this build when it's maxed out is gonna be absolutely insane and then to finish off the build we're gonna go in 81 standing dunk for silver rise up and silver aerial wizard again there's a reason for everything in this build the reason we didn't go 90 or 91 for gold rise up is honestly because standing dunks are kind of underwhelming this year they were so op last year that they kind of nerfed them into the ground if y'all have tried standing dunk metering you know what i'm talking about most of the time you're usually getting a very late or a very early no matter how you time it it's really weird you can't consistently get standing dunk meter greens if you do have a 90 standing dunk but for me personally it wasn't worth it it would be very easy to lower anything in this build whether it's the pass accuracy or the block and get this 90 standing dunk if you want to you can make that adjustment but for me personally all i wanted was that if i slip i dunk it right away and that is exactly what happens when you have an 81 standing dunk in silver rise up now before we get into the jump shot in the animations let's go over this build really quick so you have a 96 offensive rebound get you hall of fame rebounding badges as well as gold box out beast which 100 makes up for the 81 on defensive rebound i promise you if you're worried about your defensive rebound being too low i promise you all you need is to upgrade one rebounding get the badges and that is all you need and the one that you should be upgrading is your offensive rebound we have an 85 strength for silver brick wall and gold box out beast silver brick wall is surprisingly super effective this year i love it if you want you could use your max plus one on it to make it gold brick wall and make it even more effective but please do not go out of your way to get a 91 strength you are gonna feel ridiculously slow at this height if you go any lower than a 72 speed plus with the 72 speed we're gonna get a motion style that is proven by 2k labs to be the fastest motion style in the entire game and it's gonna make you feel like you are just gliding on the court bro it is absolutely insane you get a 93 block rating hall of fame defensive badges as well as gold paint patroller again i've seen people lower this to 88 and be perfectly fine i wanted to go 93 because i wanted my paint to be secured the last thing you want is to be on a center and your teammates calling your paint sweet bro it is not a good feeling so i went 93 block 82 interior defense got my badges this is like the first center build i've made in years where in my first five rec games 
I didn't get that little welcome to the league moment and get dunked on by some random point guard with a 99 driving dunk. My paint defense felt amazing when I was out there, so I really love this change. And then, of course, we have a 69 steal, so if you're in the lanes, you're going to get the steal every time. You have a super long wingspan. And then a 52 perimeter defense, just so we don't feel like we're in mud. This, with our max out agility, makes you actually move pretty quick laterally, left and right, for a 7 footer. And then finally, to finish off the bill, we have a 93 pass accuracy. You're throwing quarterback passes from one block to the other, from one block to the corner, from one block to the wing, all the way down there. They're just going to be getting free threes. Your teammates are going to love you. You have a max out midi and a max out three point rating. Again, you could lower your wingspan and get these up to 85 and like 81, I think is what it is, or 79 maybe. If there's a specific jump shot you want, please go ahead and make that change. Again, if you're getting snagged on just because you lower the wingspan, do not be mad at me in the comments, bro. I recommend going 7-7. I have a jump shot for you with these shooting attributes that I really like, so hopefully you like it too. And then of course, we have the 81 standing dunk for Silver Riser. And if you make this build, you actually get a build name that I really like. You get a playmaking defensive anchor, which one doesn't reveal that you can shoot really well, which I love. People think you're an inside center a lot of the time, so they leave you wide open. And two, it's just accurate, bro. You are a playmaking defensive anchor. No one's scoring in your paint, and anytime you get a rebound, your teammates are off on the break, and you get a free three. It's a beautiful play style and it's led me to be undefeated in the wreck this season with this build all right so first we're gonna cover the animations then we're gonna get into the badges so the first animation you need to know is motion style pascal siakam will make you move the fastest as a center it's been tested by 2k labs it is by far the fastest motion style so just put this on and you'll be moving ridiculously quick the next thing you need to know is that the best pass style in the game is tyrese halliburton if you look how fast he passes the ball it is ridiculously quick once again 2k labs tested shout to them this is the best pass style in the entire game and then the jump shot you're gonna want to use on this build i'm actually gonna give you all three options just in case you don't like this one but this is the one i use it's base pj washington release one nikola jovic release two carl anthony towns 100 release speed and the blending is 59 percent jovic 41 percent carl anthony towns now this is a super quick jump shot the visual cue i like to use is push but y'all might want release because it is actually really quick in game for me i've always preferred my jump shot to be where I just tap it and it's green. That's why I like this quick of a jump shot. And just in case you don't like that jump shot, I also have this one right here where it's base Jonathan Isaac, release one Kevin Durant, release two Nikola Jovic. 100% release speed and the blending is 40% Kevin Durant, 60% Jovic. Also a really quick jump shot, but way slower than PJ Tucker. So if you're more about timing your jump shot, setting your feet and squaring up, this jump shot's probably gonna be better for you. And then finally, for my centers out there that don't really like to leave the ground when they shoot, we have a low rating jump shot, which is base Missy, release one Jalen Williams, Williams, release to Dirk Nowitzki, 100% release speed, and the blending is 60% Williams, 40% Dirk Nowitzki. This one's not really my favorite, but I know a lot of centers that don't really like to jump too high when they shoot, so I just want to put it in just in case. And last but not least, let's talk about the badges. Now, obviously, after my games are done, I finally got some of my badges, not all of them, but when I made this build, the first thing I did was use my badge elevator on Rebound Chaser, which brought my Rebound Chaser from Silver to Hall of Fame instantly. Then after that, I went to my badge perk and I use my max plus one on rebound chaser to get legend rebound chaser before my first game even started. For those of y'all that's saying that badge elevators are trash, they're meant for your new builds. They're not meant for your build that you already grinded. They're meant for you to have an easier way to grind your badges when you make a new build. And as the seasons go on, it's gonna be multiple badges per build. It is a very good addition to 2K, so please stop yelling at them to take it out, bro. It is very good how it is. And then the other max plus one I used, I put on glove. You could put on area wizard if you catch lobs a lot but for me i liked glove and then finally here are the attributes of the build at 99 overall with no cap breakers i'm only starter two i'm not starter three so i have no cap breakers yet but what you're going to want to maximize if you're an 85 overall first you're going to want to upgrade your rebounding and your physicals you're going to just max all these out after that you're going to upgrade your pass accuracy to around like an 80 plus nothing like 93 you won't be able to get all that same thing with your block you're going to want to put your block up to an 80 plus as well as your interior defense around a 70 and then you're going to want to put your standing dunk at around a 70 and then max out your mid-range and three-point and that should be a maxed out 85 overall hopefully you've earned up to 90 or 95 overall by now but if not that's how you should prioritize those stats in that order anyways y'all that's pretty much it i hope you have a ton of fun with this build i know i was having a lot of fun in the wreck even with the skill-based matchmaking where i was sweating every game i was getting a triple double with nearly 20 points and 20 rebounds a game which is insane anyways y'all thank you so much for watching i love you all and as always Keep grinding. Falling, falling. Two K, we never be falling. Yeah. Retro, she never be calling. Still hitting shots while they steady be taunting. Falling, falling. Two K, we never. Be